Hey there, Sugar Doodle as well. I am outside the Science Museum where I'm just about to go in to see the Russian Cosmonaut Exhibition where I'm going to do some drawing. Let's not talk about it. Let's go see what it's all about. Well, they had all sorts of amazing stuff, including the Russian Lunar Landing Module, which I knew nothing about. It was kept very, very secret. And the white thing in front is the Lunar rover which did land and kind of roved around and they're still there up on the moon uh, i always thought it looked a bit like a, a kind of a, a a bath on wheels well i had a great time at the science museum i was always a bit of a space nut when i was younger and it was incredible seeing these things there in real life all these voshkods and whatever soyuz is and this is um sputnik one sputnik means fellow traveler so i sat there and did this watercolour painting. And then also the Sputnik 3, which is here, uh, which I did in watercolour as well. And it was, the lighting was amazing. I love this great big shadow that was being pushed up on the wall like that. I was actually up in London to see my publishers and uh, I made this sign off bit of video uh, on their rooftop terrace, which overlooks the River Thames with all the lights of London down below. So I'll leave you with this piece of video. Well, I'm coming to the end of this sketchbook, um, which is mostly, um, well, this was in the um, uh, Cumberland House Natural History Museum. I had about half an hour I could spend in there. I love these, this jam jar full of <laughs> cockroaches and stuff. And uh, that was at a wedding and it's just full of stuff and ideas and things like that and stuff. Oh, this is Jake Spicer, who you may have come across his books, How to Draw Books. Um, and I met him and he was drawing my son here so I drew him one he was drawing my son uh, this is at the seaside I went to visit a school to do some drawing there very red beach so this is all stuff mostly watching the TV again this is all um, war and peace and this is watching uh, nature programs on the TV quite often I'll, I will Instagram these so you can follow me on Instagram at shoe but this is what I did in my sketchbook at the science museum at the cosmonaut exhibition and i loved at the beginning they had all these lovely sketches and things drawn by this guy called siliovsky and his album of cosmic journeys from 1933 this is a, a kind of schematic for his idea of a two-stage rocket and this is kind of a sketch to explain how uh, people would float around in space and the tables would float and all that kind of thing. And he thought they might kind of attach wings to their uh, arms to sort of flap about in space. And this is a feeding station. Everybody floating around with tubes attached to them. <laughs> <We're> going... <laughs> and this is a sketch of an astronaut outside uh, in space, working in space. And this is his schematic diagram of how an airlock works and here he is coming out into space and these are other astronauts working around the spacecraft and and they had this beautiful model made out of shiny aluminium it was about about a meter tall i suppose maybe more and and it had this cutaway section of what a rocket would look like inside and, and it had um a little bed and <laughs> beds and tables and chairs <laughs> all very quite ornate furniture and a little kitchen upstairs and a stove and um and in the bathroom it had three baths i don't know what they were going to do with their baths and three of them all together <laughs> the water would float away and this is a little sketch of Siliovsky with his ear trumpet he was very deaf and he kind of made, made his own ear trumpet, which they had actually had at the exhibition. And I wrote, in the cosmos, no one can hear you scream. This is a little sketch from a beautiful poster they had there, this kind of handsome uh, you know, Russian engineer looking after these dogs going off into space. I put, set the controls for the heart of Sirius. And they had lots of um, little bits of video being projected around the place. And this was Yuri Gagarin waiting for blast off. And, and these kind of white lines would get little white patches were going across the screen of interference radio interference I, I just really like that I thought mm, something there so I thought I'd draw that in case I forget this was Valentina Tereshkova and I think what happened is that they got a camera pointing over her shoulder so they can see her and they can see the control panels um, but they can't see her properly because she's got this great big helmet on so I thought it was a TV screen at first, but in fact, it's just a mirror. 
when she holds up <laughs> so they can see her happy smiling face to know that she's all right <laughs> so she can uh, look look into the camera through the mirror and these were fleeting moments of video of astronauts and i think this was yuri gagarin here it doesn't look like him but it's you know this the thought is there and he was holding this pigeon <laughs> so i put a little space helmet on the pigeon um i had a cup of coffee afterwards and i just kind of put down my thoughts and of this spaceship what it would look like inside and these astronauts sitting in their easy chair and having a bath cosmonauts not astronauts and of course the dog would be downstairs having to go for walkies on his treadmill and they have lots of potatoes and vodka and tuna and caviar <laughs> and again i was having his cup of coffee and thinking about dogs in space and i thought oh there's that film cats and dogs and I think I'm going to have to go and watch that to see whether that's already done my ideas. Quite often you get a great idea and find somebody's done it already. And then in the museum, I was just looking around the rest of the museum afterwards, um, and there was a James Watt exhibition, and James Watt invented the steam engine. And this is the, a Japanese print from a Japanese exercise book of 1873, um, all about James Watt and how he invented steam. It doesn't look like him at all, but it's... It's a Japanese idea of what he looked like. I really, and this is his wife, uh, and I loved how they kind of Japaneseified him. On the tube, on the underground, on the London underground, this guy had fallen asleep, so I started sketching him. And I found I was being <laughs> watched by a whole group of Polish ladies at the same time. <laughs> and on the train home, I kind of was looking back through this and thought, mm. so I just started doodling, really. And um, I know there's an idea there. I haven't worked out what it is. So I thought if I just start doodling, something will happen. And, and then this is a guy also on the train on the way home who was looking very happy reading his book. Well, I've had a lovely afternoon drawing in the Science Museum at the Cosmonaut Exhibition. And here I am on a rooftop. I've been to my publisher's party and look at this. This is the River Thames all lit up <laughs> and it's just so beautiful and it's very very cold there is the london eye in the distance we've got we've got a huge tower crane up here way in the distance just there that is the shard which is the tallest building and across the river is the oxo building thanks for watching if you want to see more of my sketchbook videos click here <laughs> and if you want to do the mystery drawing do that just here and in the meantime keep drawing 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 <laughs> practice 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 and i'll see you next time if i don't freeze first you take care now bye bye